Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're looking at a basic cybersecurity email management workflow to scan your emails and check for any phishing emails and mark them as a security threat. Like and subscribe to the channel because the next video will be a more advanced one using a custom AI code node in NA10 to soup this up and make it even more advanced, being able to check databases for the latest threats to scan it in, in, in even more detail. So let's get started. So what we've got is the Gmail trigger node. Then what we've got is we've got a text classifier. In the text classifier, we've got three categories. The clean category with a very, very basic description. We've got the check, use caution for something that is not 100% spam, but could be spam. And then we've got the phishing. And then we've got the, a basic system prompt just here. We're using Grok3 as a model. And then we've got each of the each Gmail nodes. Once it's been sent down there, it'll label each one. And then it'll label it here. I've created the labels in the Gmail and color coded them appropriately to stand out. I've got an old email account with lots and lots of spam in there. So we're going to send a few through and see what happens and see what happens. So we're going to test the workflow. It's now picking up the email and it's just checking it. So we've got a final notice email here. Nice spammy one. It's now classified it as, sp as spam. Your account will be will be deleted in three days. Blah, blah, blah. I don't even have a, have a Garmin account, so definitely spam, definitely fishing for some credentials just there. Send another, another random one through. Picking up the email, sending it to the AI. All happens very quick. Let's have a look at the emails. Mail online miracle weight loss formula there. Last time I checked, the mail didn't send out emails to people about weight loss formulas. So that last one actually actually was blocked by Google because it contains a security threat. So Google already does do certain ones, but with these prompt with the prompts here, you could actually customize it to your company. So that way, if someone was emailing an employee to pretend that they're the CEO or the director or the boss, you could have a custom prompt already in there. So that way it can filter through and make sure that no one's going to pretend to be the director to try and get the accounts department to authorize a large payment or something like that. Let's try another. Let's try another one. Looks like Google is a bit more precise than uh, than Microsoft when it comes to spam, because this old old Hotmail account gets lots and lots of spam, and uh, looks like Google's just deleting deleting and blocking a lot of them. Right, let's try this one last one. Right, that one's sent successfully. Let's have a look. So there we go. We've got a nice. Sheen one there. Let's see what the what the AI does with that. There we go. Marked it as a phishing email already. So there we go. Now let's now let's try a few less spammy ones. All right. So we sent an sent an email. It's now going to appear in the inbox just here. Tomorrow's fishing trip. Let's test it. It's now gone. 
check use caution. So let's see what this was about. Hi John, I wanted to invite you on a fishing trip to catch some fish. We can then scam the out of egg for caviar. So it doesn't really make sense. The sort of, the sort of uh, messages that you might get from a scammer that doesn't know the English language very much. So it's marked it as check, use caution. Right, so now let's check out the next message. So next one's come in. Let's have a look. Wednesday's fishing trip. Let's see what it does with that one. So now it's marked this one as, as safe. Let's have a look at it. Hi John, I wanted to invite you on a fishing trip to catch some fish. We can then get some eggs for caviar. What do you think, Tom? So this is a basic example. You can make it more elaborate by expanding on the descriptions, putting more keywords in there for the AI to help it classify. And the more context you give it, the better it will be over time. Keep an eye out because coming soon we're going to have a more advanced version of this workflow that will include a database with different, different threats to demonstrate how you can take this up to a more production ready level. We'll still be using the Gmail accounts, although you can easily swap these out for your own personal email server if you're using a corporate environment. Thank you for watching. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for all the new subscribers that have, that have joined. I hope you're getting a lot of value out of the channel. As I've said before, you can find links to buy, this work, buy the workflow and other workflows down in the description. If you'd like me to work with you, with, if you'd like my company to work with you, then reach out at theautomatedai.com or you can email automate at theautomatedai.com. If you'd like to donate to the channel, then you can find links down in the description. And thank you for watching. Let's keep automating.